I mean, that energy when you watch it, but can you imagine if you were actually there and saw it happen? That's where our Lindsay Buckingham comes in here. She is live at Progressive Field right now. So tell us, Lindsay, about the fan who now has John Kenzie Noel's home run ball. <laughs> well, Christy, Kathy Faber is a lifelong Guardians fan, but says she never could have predicted what happened at Progressive Field last night. Kathy Faber has a baseball family through and through. We have five boys who all played baseball all through their school year. She's always been a Guardians fan, looking on the bright side every season, and especially this one. When people do, when they do talk about their down two games, it's like, can't we all just sit and think about the ride they've given us this year? Kathy's positive attitude continued last night, even when the guards were down by two in the bottom of the ninth with two outs. Then John Kenzie Noel took the plate. Hopeful. I have liked him this season. Uh, I thought he was due, definitely. Oh! Oh! oh my goodness! When he hit that ball, and I saw it coming, I swear, it seemed like it was slow motion. I'm thinking, this ball is coming right at me. And it did. It just landed right at my feet. The crowd went wild. Fans sitting around Kathy were taking pictures with her. They were all happy for me. I could not believe so many people were just happy for me because I had the ball. And I picked it up and I immediately turned to the end of the row where my daughter-in-law and grandson were and held up the ball. And it's like, I got it. Yes, Kathy, you sure did. But instead of keeping the ball for herself. Evan is a real baseball fan. He's a 13-year-old who plays baseball now. She gave it to her grandson. Kathy says she has a great feeling about her Guardians and the rest of the series. I want them to win, but whatever happens, we're just happy for what we've got so far this year. Well, Kathy tells us she's not sure where her grandson Evan will keep that ball, but she says she knows it will be somewhere safe and special. And listen to this. You may remember these men I first introduced you to earlier this week. This is Matt Coleman with his cousin Patrick Steyer at last night's game. Matt caught Lane Thomas's grand slam ball against the Tigers that put the Guardians into the ALCS. Well, guess what? Kathy's son Andy is childhood friends with Matt. They're all from Northwest Ohio. How's that for some postseason magic, guys? That's wow. truly unreal. It, it is. I mean, Tiffin is a very small yeah, community in Northwest Ohio, and to think that these balls would be caught by folks at different games. Um, you, I want to ask you about a very special meeting that took place last night. What can you tell us about that? OK, well, I'm not sure if the picture made it, but before the game, David Fry's dad came up to Patrick to say congratulations for catching uh, Lane Thomas's home run ball. And so Patrick and Matt said, hey, when David hits a homer, we'll give you that ball back. Just kind of saying that as a joke. Well, sure enough, he hits the game winning <laughs> ball. It flies oh right over their heads and lands five rows back. You can't make it up. Uh, you cannot make it up. Lindsay, it's great reporting. Great that was fantastic. reporting. Fantastic. Wow. All right. See what tonight <laughs> Those holds. Those are some Thanks, memories. They really are. Congrats.